Well, hey YouTube, this is Captain Dave Sport Fishing in the Wolf Den one more time. going to do here is I'm going to follow up on something that I discussed a couple months ago, I believe. I've been meaning to do this out on the boat, but let me tell you something. Remember this thing? Do you remember that? I did an entire video, I believe, about this, comparing it to junk like this braid shears this here is the greatest line cutter I have ever owned in my entire life and I've had every stupid little braid shear that you can think of I've had you know I even used the Mora Eldress as a line cutter but it gets dull Believe it or not, I mean, yeah, cheap steel gets dull. So that doesn't even work that great as a line cutter. But this right here is the best line cutter I have ever used. I probably pull it out of its sheath 25 times a day, if not more. Okay? And what this is is a diver's emergency line cutter. It has ceramic blades that are replaceable. Being ceramic, they never really ever get dull. They don't get dull. I mean, it comes in a wonderful, very low profile sheath. This is my spare, because you should always have spares. If you really like something, and you're, if you, well, I'm going to say, if you're like me, which probably none of you are, not really, um, there it is. There's the sheath. Remember I talked about this and how easy it went on and off? And I'm, I'm sure some of you got it. This has a belt loop in the back. This is for everybody who missed the original video. And look how low profile that is. And non-assuming. I mean, this isn't... People look at this and they don't even know what the hell it is. This is brand new. This is my spare. And it comes with two spare blades, even. So these people who make this really get it. All right, and it comes in a wonderful little plastic case. Replaceable by just doing these two screws. Now, I don't think you're going to be able to see it. I have used mine so extensively that right where the blade is going into this side of the plastic, the ceramics are a bit chipped. And the reason I decided to do this video is I was going to take out these screws and turn the ceramics upside down and get more usage out of them. And the reason they're chipped is because many times I will have a hook or a swivel in my hand. I go down and I go to cut a knot off of a hook and I might hit the hook. And it might chip the blade a little bit. But these things continue to cut. It is called the Sharp Cut. And I'm going to put a link below to my Amazon store, which goes directly to, you know, helping this channel, like the rest of us out here in YouTube world. A blade like this is great. Great, and mine you can shave with, but it dulls. You're you're hitting braid all the time. I'm cutting braid, hundred pound mono, sixty. It takes a little toll after a month or two on this little uh, cheap Morris steel, 
But these ceramic, ceramic is known to be like mega sharp. So all you have to do is, you know, any braid, you pull off and you just swipe. That's it. I'll get some and I'll show you again. Here's 60 pound mono. I'm, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see every detail about this. But if you got something that's very stiff, it goes right in there and gets caught. And you can just pull it. And it cuts it. Sure, you can pull out these cheap things and go like this. Right? And it smashes the end. These don't, this doesn't smash the end when it gets all, when these get all wore out. Those little micro fine teeth in something like this, all braid shears are that way. You just, and when it's real stiff, you just pull. Mine are getting dull, and it cuts it on a little point. Here's a 30 pound braid. Let's double it. You know, years ago, I've been around long enough. I remember when there was no braid, right? There was no such thing as this. If you wanted anything that was similar to braid, you had to use like, you know, Dacron or something like that. But here's 30 pound test, a 30 pound supposed four strand braid. You take it, I pinch it, bam. I mean, slice and dice. There's two pieces. Now this is because it's loose. I will pinch it and I'll pull. And I have this out 25 times a day on my boat. So, let's do this again. Now here's absolute wore out cheap five dollar whatever must dad cutters i wore them out the only reason they're hanging around is they're they have a split ring little plier on them all right now that ain't cutting squat that is not cutting nothing no nope, it won't cut it all it does is crimp it but, let's say this is hanging on a rod, boom, I just cut it. You will not believe the amazement from my customers when they see me pull this out and go, boom, okay, boom, tie on a hook, boom, I mean, just that quick. So, for 20 bucks, I believe, here is the best line cutter that I have ever found in my, let's see, I don't know, I'll take, I'll just round off 45 years of fishing. This is probably the best line cutter I've ever run into. $20 with a sheath, with replacement blades, and we're going to see right now if I can turn these around. All right, I'm bringing you in close so you can watch this right along with me to see if you can even just reverse. I'm going to get this little nut off. If you can just reverse this and get even more. There's a little nut that goes on the back right there even more life out of these. Alright, so there's a second nut. And we're going to open it up. Oh, I see here where there's a little indentation to pull it apart. Right here. Because you're going to have the screws Let's push the screws out. All right, well, there it 
says it's opened up, and it looks like it's mighty reversible to me. So if I take this blade, I, hope, I doubt they're like glued in there. There we go. It's very, very difficult to see, but there is a few little fine chips in it. It's very difficult to see, but it's still wicked sharp. Okay, let's get this one out. This one's stuck to the other way. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reverse where it goes. So it looks like it's 100% also reversible. This one, very fine chip right there. So I'm going to move this end to the top. So you not only get you not only get let's see if it has to go in here no you don't not only get a set of replacement blades along with it but you can just reverse them and keep them really sharp. Right. For some reason it's not I'm not getting it fitting in there perfectly. Oh there you go. You gotta push it down. There you go. You gotta push them down and get them to lock in. There you go. And it snaps right back together. This is now gone to the next level, folks. It's the next level. This is the greatest line cutter I have ever seen. I mean, price, simplicity, utility. All right, there you go. How easy could this be and you're gonna get now even more life out of it and you and you still even have a whole nother set of blades that they give you as spares I love the word spares because that means I can continue on with happiness there you go now this end the chips are away, and I did that just because I was thinking about it, and I thought I'd sh show you guys. So that's the sharp cut. Here it is in the sheath close up. All you, it's got Velcro. All you do is pull it out, put it back in. World's greatest line and braid cutter for a really serious fisherman. And maybe even if you're not so serious. So thanks for watching.